I mean, you sitting there guarding your food. Come here, let me show you what I set you up for. Come on, Tilly. Come here. You gotta, you gotta get around all the construction stuff. Come here. Good chicken strip. Come here, I'm gonna show you where you can get when it gets hot. You were following me earlier. You can come in here, I got the fan on high. Yeah. Like the construction that stood still because it's too hot. All right, you can stay there. Yeah, it's cool. We're gonna get you fattened up again. If you'd hung around, you'd be chubby by now. I've got a bacon treat. I've got a sausage and a chicken strip. Let's put those in your bowl. Then you got fresh water. What you working on, your sausage? You wouldn't eat treats the last time you came here. And yeah, now you know what they are. Uh, your, your coat's looking a little rough. We gotta get you back into shape. But you gotta hang around. Yeah, and she's not pregnant, guys. She's too young. She's almost to that age, but she's not. Uh, I think she lives up the hill there that guy's probably got 50 60 dogs like it's 80 almost 80 year old man i couldn't imagine having that many dogs at that age and all he does with them is hunt but she busted loose again yeah you know, all right tilly i'll check on you through the day and then this one here I come out last night right around dusk and she's just standing right here. I'm like, why why ain't you moving? She stuck her body through one of these pieces of fence and I couldn't see it. <laughs> she couldn't go anywhere. Because she buried a treat up in there somewhere. So yeah. I bet she won't do that again. Will you? Miss Brewster. Hey. Hey. Talking to you. Just ignore me, ain't you? You're a character. Oh, the next 10 days, man. I think we got one day it's 109. There's gonna be anywhere from 101 to 109. You guys don't care, do you? Because you're in air conditioning. Yeah, they come out in the mornings, they come out in the evenings, and you don't see them in between. Oh well. I'm gonna lick my camera. Alright. And Miss Libby, she likes to come out of here and get under my truck. Would you like a milk bone? We you gonna get silly with it. There it is. You like to lay in that old dirt, don't you? You know why? Because you're goofy. It's too hot to go for our walk. Yeah. But when it gets hot, she's got this. It's really shady and cool over here. This is where I got the chickens. So she comes in here, gets real cool in that corner, and she lays right there by the doghouse. I come out here. I've actually got a thermometer around the other side there, so I know what temperature is. Yep, it gets hot, but it's too hot for me to build or anything else. I think tomorrow I'm going to spread a tarp out probably on this wall here. I don't even really think it's needed. She's a short hair. Come here, let uh, Libby. Come here. She's eating her milk bone. She ain't going nowhere. All right, but I do check on my dogs all day long. Did you eat your milk bone? Yeah. Did you eat it? <laughs> yeah, you don't eat it unless you roll it in that dirt. I don't get you guys. All right, let's go see the chickens are enjoying their morning. They've got a thermometer right there. 77 degrees right now. 72% humidity, Waddle. What do you think of that? <laughs> you need a bath, boy. I'm gonna probably stick uh, 
I've got a tub somewhere I'm gonna fill with water it's only about three inches deep but they like to get in there when it gets hot get their feet wet so I'm gonna do that here in a minute all right and the garden is still doing good I've been watering it in the morning and the afternoon I thought my well went dry but it was a pressure switch was sticking it would work sometimes and then it wouldn't work so I sprayed it with WD-40 and I replaced it so I just replaced that last summer well then I pulled a whole bunch of tomatoes off last night and peppers and I think today I'm gonna dehydrate some basil uh, the cayennes that I pulled off here get them uh, ground up into some powder yeah I mean it's uh, doing okay I guess could look better my potatoes the second batch are coming up these they're done for yeah squash beetles got to that's why I shouldn't eat. I wasn't even gonna plant these there are more trouble in Arkansas than they're worth and they're not doing well squash beetles hit to me it ain't worth it sit here and try to they haven't produced one good cucumber yet they just taste terrible and they turn yellow immediately and they're so cheap in the store I'm not gonna fool with them I already pulled up the squash and the cucumber over there they were struggling real bad let's see how they if you don't get them right at the right time and these I, I have not even seen them look green now that one there is not too bad but they're just not doing right I don't care about them that tomato's got a hole in it let's give that to the chickens there's another tomato I got a whole bunch of tomatoes to do today getting some nice ones this year and I got a whole big bowl full of peppers that I harvested last night these are just you can't hurt these things man they are doing great pretty much got all the big peppers off and this we're almost struggling a little they don't get too big but you know this is this week's gonna be really hard on them all my tillos are going crazy they're not ready yet they won't be ready for a while yeah there's just a little ball inside there We got a few more serranos to harvest. Okra. Oh, I'm ready for this this heat, man, to get out of here. Gosh, hey, you can't do nothing. This pepper's doing okay. Need get some of this harvested and dried up today. And I didn't even know what this was here in the middle. I didn't remember. It's uh, oregano. Yep, Let me get some of that off there. All right, guys, that big bad dude's coming up. This is a horrible summer for heat. I knew we were due. Last one we had this bad was in 2012. That's the year I moved here. It was brutal. We had temperatures like 114, 115 for the entire summer. And that's what we're going to have this year. So, <laughs> there it still sits, but that's all right. There's nothing I can do right now. And here's what I harvested just last night. Look at all them tomatoes. That big old dude. Man, that looks good. I got cayennes, I got serranos. There's some, I don't know, I'm not sure what those are. They're not jalapenos. Uh, that's a jalapeno so them in the hydrator I've got these uh, bell peppers to get all sliced up and frozen I may show you how I do that it's a pretty simple procedure and that's what we got man even as hot as it is I'm still producing enough for me anyway oh and I had one in my pocket there we go oh if you eat tomatoes would you like a salad? That's not a ball. That's a tomato. The dogs don't eat them. It makes their paws grow really big. Yeah. Then you'd be walking around like a duck. 
But you got Miss Tilly over there to keep you company. Alright. 